Hi, little knife review tonight. Um, this is a brand which is certainly new to me. Um, it's a brand called Swizzer, and they are indeed a Swiss brand, as the, uh, the logo would suggest. And they provide or produce something very similar to a Swiss Army knife. So I was really interested to take a look and see what was out there which might be competing with the big brands like Victorinox. So this is an 11 function Swiss Army knife. Comes in a nice blister pack. And we'll just pop it out. It comes in probably a fairly comparable price point to the Swiss Army knives. This model with its 11 features, the DO4 um, retails for around about £30. Um, just taking you through some of the features, before we even open it up, um, the scales are sort of over clad in a sort of silicon cover, which is quite nice and tactile, nice and grippy. And interestingly, on the uh, features here, it notes that it's dishwasher safe. So if you've ever used silicon products before, you'll know that occasionally, so certainly if you're carrying them in your pockets, they'll pick up some fluff and look a little bit dirty over time. Um, but this is dishwasher safe. Not quite so sure about the steel. I'll give it a go at some point, but interesting feature. Okay, so opening it up, obviously you've got the blade, but we'll get onto that in a minute maybe. Um, but going through the other things, you've got a very familiar tool here, although executed in a slightly different way, with a little nail notch there. This is a can opener and a flathead screwdriver. And it also has that little wire stripper that you can pinch a wire against the frame and take, the, take off the plastic outer. You'll have come across that on Swiss Army knives that we're familiar with. So there's that tool. These all come out really nice and smoothly. No grit in there. Very smooth operation. The next tool is the can opener. So again, fairly familiar format. Again with a sort of nail hole bit different to a nail nick and it's got a small flathead screwdriver on the end of that. On this one you'll pick up a really nice aggressive grind on that. We'll pop in for some close-ups on these in a minute but really nice aggressive grind on that and we'll see how that functions as well in a minute. So then you've got your sewing all so you can puncture sailcloth or leather and sew it together you can also remount a hole in wood it's just one of those sort of universal tools that you'll suddenly find a useful when you need to bodge a hole in something on the other side you've got the screwdriver Phillips head now quite often I'll read sort of or see videos which criticise the the choice of head size on these. But again, I find that pretty alright. It's always something odd that you'll need it for, like a toy or something like that, and uh, it's fitted everything that I've needed it for so far. Then before we get onto the blade, we've got a little set of tweezers. Very, very similar to this tweezers you'll find in a Swiss Army knife, but in this example, no toothpick. Okay, we'll get onto the blade, which is probably a bit of a talking point on this knife. Again, it's got a nice nail nick, nail hole, similar to what they call the, the skagel, skagel hole on the sort of American style knives I think it was they might have had a UK heritage and just tucked in there again we'll get up on some close-ups in a minute but you've got a Swizzer brand there which is quite nice now this is 440 steel 
doesn't say whether it's 440A, 440C, um, but it is nice and sharp, very nicely executed grind and a very nice little sharpening notch just in there, which is always a positive thing. If you look at the sort of angle that the blade pre presents itself, that's also quite quite nice, quite a nice ergonomic feel in the hand, just that slightly downward angled blade and obviously when that's in hand the other tools nestle quite nicely, nice rounded edges to them all and they sort of form an arc there, so they're quite nice in hand there. Now the other thing to say about the blade which is uh, in some ways a bit disappointing is that it's locking. It's got a little liner lock in there and it's activated by a pusher just under this logo here. So we'll get in for a close up and see that properly in a minute. But obviously that presents a little bit of an issue for us in the UK. The blade itself is 75 millimeters, which brings it just a shade under three inches. So the blade's okay. You can have that in your pocket, but the lock isn't. Now what I would say about the lock is it's very common or very similar to the lock that you'll find in some Victorinox in that it's actually, rather than a sort of true lock, it's kind of a backup. Because if you deactivate that, you'll see that actually there's quite a lot of resistance. And it's basically a traditional slip joint with an additional sort of liner lock which just springs into the way. And that's very similar to how Victorinox do it on some of their blades. So it's perfectly adequate with the slip joint, but the lock just gives it an extra tier of security. So you can see there's a little bit of wiggle in there just as it comes out and meets the lock face. But in day-to-day -day use, no problem at all with the uh, with the slip joint uh, mechanism in the back there. So what I'd suggest is if uh, if you really like this, and I, I do think it's a nice blade for around about £30, you could actually just get a little Dremel tool, something very fine in there, and I think you could pretty much shave that portion of the liner off without affecting the knife in any way you just lose that secondary lock and rely on the slip joint. So I might do that because I do rather like this knife. I like the features, I like the colour, nice soft handle. Okay, well let's go in for some close-up shots and we'll also look at this in action and then we'll wrap it up. Looking at the knife in a bit of close-up now, got the silicon scales little locking button, the blade, sharpening notch, little logo there which I think is a nice feature and if you can pick it up inside you can see the little button push sliding that liner back and forth You've got the bottle opener with its nice aggressive grind on there. And you've got the other little tool there. Taking a look at the screwdriver functions, despite all your sort of EDC ninja ambitions, if you're anything like me, you're going to end up needing a screwdriver, probably for a toy. And everything I've tried out so far seems to do the trick. So this is a little remote control car unit and it needs a Phillips head. And that's a perfect fit. Or if you need a new battery in your Octo Alert, you can go for the flathead screwdriver. Let's try that one. We'll actually go for the smaller one. And away you go. All good. You can get Captain Barnacles going again.
So just to finish up now, you've seen it in action, you've seen some close-ups, and uh, we'll just put it side by side with a few of the other peers, which you might wish to consider it with in, in terms of your everyday carry kit, um, and then we'll close it up. Okay, so side by side with a traditional Victorinox, this is Solo Alox. The blades. It's a very similar blade profile there. A slightly thinner stock, but overall a very similar form. Probably another comparable multi-tool, the Boca um, Tech Tool. So again, similar footprint, much deeper construction on the Boca, but then it's got a few more features. And then the blade. Similar proportions, just in terms of the three, in three inch rule. And then side by side, there you go. Okay, well I hope that was helpful. Um, as I say, a really nicely executed um, multi-tool. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a dilemma for, for most UK carriers, but as I say, there's probably a way around that. Um, certainly something worth checking out, and probably with a simple modification, something you can make UK legal. Okay, well if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're into knives, everyday carry, uh, quality footwear, shaving, boots, fountain pens, um, that sort of stuff, please check out my channel. Um, please subscribe, and uh, I hope that's of some use. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.